So this is the music rack holder thing that I made. Um, I wanted something that I could, you know, kind of just casually put pieces of music up on the wall and kind of just stare at it. And I wanted it to be able to accommodate, you know, large sheets of music. This is 11 and a half, or 11 by 14, I believe. Um, eight and a half by 11 landscape. These are both landscape. 11 by 14 um, regular portrait mode. These are um, these clips that I'm using. These are two inch bulldog clips. Eight and a half by 11. No big deal. Uh, leaning over the goddamn dresser. Sorry. And so that's good, you know. Put some shit on the wall and look at it for a while. Um, but then I was like, oh, I want to be able to move it, you know, off the wall. So I made it removable and decided that it should be able to be resting on the, uh, the rack of my piano so that I could sort of freely move in between. Is that even in the shot? Kind of. Freely move, uh, you know, back and forth between staring at the wall like an asshole and sitting in front of the piano like an asshole. So, um, but then I was like, you know, that's cool too because cause then you can just take it and freely bring it over to my fucking music stand. And you've seen, you know, like classic guitarists, you know, do some pretty creative things to fit a lot of sheet music onto a music stand. Sometimes they use multiple, sometimes I've seen like poster board and then they, they like shrink the pages down and I'm just like, that's, that's a lot to deal with. Just have the rack. And I know you're like, you can't help but wonder, you know, you're like, oh, Eric, like, but what if I have several 11 by 14 pieces of paper that are relatively lightweight, and when I attach them, you know, because I have a lot of them, when I attach them, you get this, you know, dreaded, like, oh, no, sa sagging thing. And I say, but... I actually already thought of that because ooh, I've got a motherfucking extension that prevents the dreaded stand sag of, of music clip to racks on stands. And I got one on this side too, so you know you can just fucking put it put it there. And, um, yeah, and, you know, the construction was really simple. Um, this is uh, one and a quarter inch um, by quarter inch pieces of wood. Um, the two inch bulldog clips that I secured with a washer to distribute the pressure brought on by the, um, the quarter inch screws. Or actually, these are half inch at the end. Because then I have these T-nuts that allow the rotational kind of thing going on. And um, then just put a little bit of, um, of glue in there that acts as like Loctite to lock the threads so that it doesn't tighten or loosen the bolt as it's turning. And I didn't stain this side because I was lazy, but it gives you an idea of what it looked like before, which, you know, looks whatever, like shitty Ikea furniture. Oh, and these are um, flush mount picture hangers because I wanted it to, you know, not extend out too far or hang or at an angle. So that goes back there. And then um, it just goes back on the wall, you know. that.